Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Saturday and it's so cold and snowy outside. It's just horrible winter weather. Me and my husband have been outside this afternoon just shoveling snow off the drive and shoveling it from the paths around the house. And my shoulders and arms are going to be killing me tomorrow. <laughs> I've also received an order this morning from Rosemary & Co, which is a, a paintbrush supplier. I always get excited when I'm waiting for deliveries and I've been really looking forward to getting this one that I'd ordered. So I'd chosen a synthetic dagger brush and I also got two size zero brushes. I use the size zero brushes so much in my paintings and my current one that I'm using at the moment is starting to get quite worn out. It's getting fluffy on the ends. I used it all the way through my Inktober paintings and I used to use it before that as well and I've been using it quite a lot recently also. So I thought I'd treat myself to some new ones. This painting that I'm doing today, it's of a fish and chip shop in Notting Hill and it's called The Chipping Forecast. Um, also, sorry about this video being longer than usual. It's on for about 12 minutes and the original footage that I had was four hours long. So I did try to cut it down as much as possible. I think it turned out so long because I didn't do this painting in one sitting. I usually like to leave all of my work out on my desk and then I keep going back to it every day for a couple of hours or an hour or so depending on how much spare time I have in the day. Otherwise if I just sit down and do the, the painting in one go I'm usually sat there all day if I'm recording as well and it just takes up a whole day and then I don't get anything done. I really love illustrating buildings and after I finished Inktober I thought I'd never want to see another building ever again because I'd done 31 days of them. But it's kind of given me the bug to draw more of them. This is the second shop that I've painted so far. You can see the other one that I did over Christmas over on my Instagram account. The link to that is in the description box below. I decided I wanted to try out this building in gouache just to see how it would turn out. I've never really used gouache before so this was mainly just an experiment. It's a really nice paint to use and I love the silky matte finish that you get from it and the vibrant colours. The gouache that I'm using today is Winter & Newton Designers gouache. I thought I'd do a gouache version of this chip shop and I also wanted to do a watercolour version just because the last shop front that I'd done was watercolour. I want to keep the shop fronts that I'm doing at the moment all in watercolour but I just wanted to do a gouache version as well just to compare the two. Because I was doing two of the same shop I thought it would be easier and more time saving if I'd done the initial sketch on just plain paper and then I traced the sketch onto watercolour paper that I was using for both paintings and it did work out a lot faster and more efficient for me to do it that way. I've only just bought the light pad that I'm using at the beginning of this video to do the tracing. When I've traced my sketches in the past, I usually stick it to a window with some masking tape and I use the sunlight, but I end up with aching arms and it's just not that practical. I was watching one of Emma Carpenter's videos the other week and she was using a light pad to trace her sketches and I've been meaning to buy one for ages and it just inspired me to buy one and I'm really glad I did get one now. It'll probably work better for me in the future when I do pencil sketches straight onto watercolour paper because my sketches get so messy and sometimes I end up with permanent pencil marks on the paper from drawing too hard with my pencil or going over the same line again and again trying to get the line right and I end up with a, a thick pencil mark on the paper and sometimes it just doesn't rub out and then it, it turns out that the watercolour paper isn't as pristine as when I started and the sketches have kind of ruined it a bit and I also I find it hard to do clear pencil sketches on cold pressed paper as well because of the rough texture so once I'd finished this painting I went to photograph it and I realized that I'd made a spelling mistake on the forecast part of it 
I missed the year out of the word forecast when I was painting the lettering. I wrote it out correctly, but then because I'd gone over the lettering in gouache, I couldn't see clearly what letters were underneath gouache to follow it, so I ended up missing the year out of it. I went over the last few letters in turquoise blue and then I redone them. If I'd made that mistake in watercolour, I wouldn't have been able to fix it because you just can't fix problems like that with watercolours because the transparent paints. So you'll see in the picture at the end of the video, once I'd fixed the spelling, you just wouldn't be able to tell that any mistakes were made in the first place. I added this gouache painting and the watercolour one to my Instagram the other day and I wanted to ask people which one they preferred. I thought that the majority were going to say that they preferred the watercolour because that's what I'm so used to painting in and I just thought it'd have a cleaner look to it. But it turned out that most people preferred the gouache so I was surprised about that. And it just made me think that I'm either doing something wrong with the watercolours or the gouache that I've done is a lot better than I realised. But I definitely want to try out other subjects in gouache. I think I need to practice with some simpler subjects or just something that's more organic than a building, like landscapes or plants, that kind of thing. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching me paint this chip shop. And let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Let me know if you think it's turned out okay or if you would have done anything different. If you do go over to my Instagram account to see the two versions compared, then it would be lovely if you left a message there to let me know your thoughts on them. If you're new here, then please feel free to subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. And stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.